Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will show you how to build your main WooCommerce shop page. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. When you first install WooCommerce, it creates a number of pages such as the Shop, Cart, Checkout and My Account pages, and assigns them as WooCommerce pages. Apart from the shop page, these pages are populated with shortcodes so they display the right content. The shop page is a little different in that it loads a shop loop to display the products. This approach gives you basic functionality with WooCommerce but only limited control with design. With the Avada Global Options there are two WooCommerce tabs which you can use to customise the design and functionality of the WooCommerce pages to some extent. There are many options, but the changes available using this method are still limited. But with Avada's WooCommerce integration, we have broken the shackles of WooCommerce implementation. With Avada you can design and create your own customised WooCommerce customer flow, from the shop page, through to the individual products and archives, the cart and checkout page, and even a thank you page, all using the power and flexibility of the Avada Builder, Avada Layouts, Postcards, and our range of both Woo Design and Layout elements. In this video, we're going to focus on the shop page and the various ways in which they can be built. To start, let's look at the shop pages created by the Avada Setup Wizard when you choose a shop in the Install options for a new site. This has dummy content, but the structure is what we're looking at. This is the assigned shop page for this site, but here the shop loop is not enabled. Here the shop page has been edited directly, and the content has been added to the page using a range of postcards and the postcard element, and a few other design elements. This is an extremely flexible approach as you can add anything you want to the content. With this approach you don't have to assign the page as the Woo Shop page, but in the WooCommerce settings there are hard coded links to the assigned shop, so it's usually a good idea. This is the approach we recommend with a shop page, due to its simplicity and great flexibility. And when using the Avada Setup Wizard, a full shop is created, replete with a cart and checkout page built in the same way, as well as a single product layout and thank you page layout. So if you have the opportunity to use that, it's a great head start to your shop design. There are also Avada Studio items you can import for your shop design as well. If you are starting from a standard WooCommerce installation, which you can see here, it's just a matter of disabling the shop loop. If I edit the assigned shop page here, you can see there is no content at all. But if we just head to the Avada Page Options and the Content tab, we can disable the shop loop here and then build our page from scratch using postcards and any other design elements we wish. Now as I mentioned before, the setup wizard creates a layout for the individual products, and that is standard practice as that is a template for multiple products. You don't need a template however for a single shop page, so you can edit it directly. But there is one situation where you do actually need to use a layout for your shop page. A great example of this is the vegan store shop page. Here we can see a hero section at the top with some categories listed below, and below that are the products with a range of filters in the left hand column. It's these filters that require the layout approach. If we look at Avada layouts on this site we can see there is a shop main layout, and that the content section of the page is also coming from the layout, and the conditions are set for the layout to be active with product archive types. Let's go back to the shop so I can explain. To filter the products in the store, the WooCommerce filters, which are of course the basis for our filter elements, rely on and use the URL for providing that functionality. And that is why one has to set the products archive types in the conditions, and use the postcard archives element in order to make filtering work. Because that element doesn't construct its own query based on user selection, but instead picks up the query that WordPress itself does based on the page URL. Let me just demonstrate by using the filters here to only display products between $200 and $350. When I click Filter, the archives respond accordingly and display the content that is requested in the URL. Ok, so they are the two main methods to create a shop with WooCommerce in Avada. You could also use a layout on a shop page as well as edit it directly. A good example of this is the Avada Retail Prebuilt. If we look at the main shop page, this is using an Avada layout, but as we can see in layouts, it's used simply to add the page title bar section at the top of this specific page. Under the page title bar, directly in the page content is the Woo sorting element at the top, followed by a postcard displaying the products in a grid. 
Here the postcard element is simply pulling all the products. Under this is a whole range of other page content displaying various items. In that way your shop can display any content you want it to. So as should be evident here, there is enormous flexibility in Avada for creating your WooCommerce shop page. So now let's look how easy it is to make a new shop page. I'll use the standard method of directly editing the page and adding my content with postcards and other elements. I'll just go back to the page the setup wizard made and clear the layout and build the shop again. Now here I could also add one of the Avada Studio shop pages, but instead I'll just build a simple shop from scratch. I'll add a 1-1 container and add a title to it. I'll just call it My Shop. And size it a bit better and give it some bottom margin. Now I will add the Woo Sorting element. I'll also just give that some bottom margin. Next I will add the Postcards element. I'll select one of the product postcards that the setup wizard made. If you are building from scratch, here you would go to the Avada library to construct your postcards or import one from Avada Studio. See the linked video on how to use postcards in Avada for more information on that linked below. But here I will select products as my post type and pull the post by product category and I might set show filters to yes. Ok so there's a very simple shop page, but the beauty of this method is that you can add anything to this page, and the postcard element is a very powerful tool, and you can use this to display your products in many different ways. Ok that's the lowdown on how to build a WooCommerce shop page with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.